Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to calculate the mean of five point Likert scale using SPSS. So before uh, starting the calculation, I would like to remind you of some main points uh, that are necessary. Uh, first, you have to code the five point Likert scale in this way, uh, one corresponding to strongly disagree, two disagree, three neutral, four agree and five strongly agree the, this this means that these values have uh, uh, sense from the lowest to the highest that is from strongly disagree to strongly agree then uh, we're going to need an interval scale table to interpret the mean in case we have it first uh, so we have the variables from one to five strongly disagree to strongly agree and the interval between one to uh, one uh, 17 line uh, means strongly disagree as you can see the the highest the value uh, the strongly or the more uh, the person agrees with the uh, statements okay so uh, as you can see we're going to need this table uh, later uh, so uh, in SPSS uh, for example in this uh, questionnaire we have uh, five I or four item uh, Likert scale we have question one two three four uh, then well, if we want to analyze this we're going to click on uh, transform as you can see and then uh, we're going to have another window which is compute variable in this uh, window we are going to uh, name the variable the target variable as uh, the mean and then we are going to go to this wizard or this uh, sub window uh, which is about the function group and choose statistical and the, uh, the window below it, we are going to choose the mean. And then we are going to have like an Excel function, the mean like this. And here we move to these variables here and choose the items corresponding to Likert scale. So we are going to select them one by one and click on this arrow. And we are going to have uh, them uh, in this string uh, separated by comma. Remember the comma here. So when I enter the first uh, item, click on this arrow. I should uh, put a comma and then proceed. I, I, it, uh, the comma is very necessary. And once you finish entering them one by one and separating them by comma, you see how many items? We have one, two, three, four. So we have four items. So which means that they have to be divided by four. As you can see, uh, so the number four here it corresponds to the number of uh, uh, items. And uh, I'm going to show you now how this is uh, presented in uh, using SPSS. So this is the questionnaire. As I told you, you go to transform, compute variable, and you do the what I told you earlier. Uh, once you finish, you click OK. OK. And then we're going to see the results. So we will have an extra variable here called the mean. And uh, we have the uh, intervals, as, you, as I already told you ranging from uh, you know one to five uh, etc so uh, we are going to see for example the first uh, participant said neutral neutral strongly disagree strongly agree this uh, justifies the uh, 3.20 uh, i would like to show you another thing uh, to calculate to use it in calculation okay so we can take this uh, value and multiply uh, by 20 or by yes by 20 it will give us a percentage which means that 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20, plus 20 for like for five times is 100 percent so we are going to uh, take this value and uh, multiply it uh, or multiply it by 20 and we get the percentage so these are the, uh, the means in general of each participant on this four item Likert scale. If you have any remarks or questions, do not hesitate to post them below and see you in another tutorial.